in the stillness of the night, a full moon appears. A lone howl echoes across the darkness. This mystical creature has been revered and reviled in ancient cultures from Asia to the Americas. It is the wolf. And while it frequently plays the role of the villain, this hunter's playful personality does not agree with the stories of a solitary, sadistic murderer. But by working together in groups called packs, the wolf remains one of the world's most perfect predators. The gray wolf is known by many names, the timber wolf, arctic wolf, or tundra wolf, and is one of the most adaptable killers on the planet. Found everywhere, from the snowy tundra to rocky mountains and green forests, wolves are designed to go anywhere and kill anything. Depending on world location, a full-grown wolf can weigh anywhere from 44 to 137 pounds, with the largest ever recorded being 189 pounds in the snows of Russia. Nose to tail, wolves can be six feet long, and every inch of its body is used not only for survival, but for hunting. Once prey is found, or a territory won, the gray wolf celebrates with its trademark howl. Believed to howl for camaraderie, different pitches and sounds communicate many things. One howl tells other wolves to meet at a specified location, and another howl warns that you're entering into a new territory. A strong howl can be heard 10 miles away. With a narrow chest and large hind legs, wolves are built for stamina and distance. Wolves can trot at 6 miles per hour for several miles, but can also reach 40 miles per hour during a heated pursuit. Unlike people, wolves are digitigrade, meaning they walk on their toes, which helps them move lightly and quietly. Slight webbing between each of their toes helps them tread through snow. And while prey might bumble through uneven or slippery terrain, the non-retractable claws of the gray wolf give them a firm grip in the ground so they don't lose their balance. The dual layers of fur play an important part in the gray wolf's survival. The coat's rough outer layer repels water and dirt, while the soft inner coat is water resistant, giving the wolf insulation. Based on where the wolf calls home, its coat can range from snowy white to midnight black to many shades in between. Whatever will give it the best camouflage. The gray wolf has the second greatest variation in appearance in the world, second only to humans. What makes wolves so deadly is that they live and hunt in little communities. Packs normally consist of eight wolves, but some are as big as 20. Every pack is led by the sole breeding pair, known as the alpha pair. Other members help rear the offspring, and some, known as beta wolves, are biding their time before breaking off to start their own packs. When hunting in packs, wolves use their heightened senses to find prey. They primarily hunt by scent, possessing over a billion more scent receptors than humans. Wolves can also hear more than twice the sound range of people, and their mobile ears can rotate 180 degrees, which helps them pinpoint exactly where a sound is coming from. Once the wolves find a target, they will break off into mini packs and surround the prey from all sides. Equipped with their four canines, each an inch and a half in length, they then bite the legs and upper thighs of the prey. Each bite can leave a six inch gash, leading most prey to bleed to death. Wolves are then able to eat up to 33 pounds of meat per sitting, eating one and a half tons of meat in a year. Fearing none, attacks on people are not uncommon. However, the main reason wolves have lost their fear of man is because we have continued to build homes on their land. The close contact with humans has made wolves unafraid, which is why hungry wolves have resorted to attacking people when food is scarce. Hunting and extermination has made wolves' numbers but a fraction of what they once were. However, because of recent conservation efforts, wolves are of least concern when discussing endangered species. 
Currently, there are over 13,000 wolves in the United States. Today, rival wolf packs are the biggest threat facing wolves in the wild. Extremely territorial and proud, defending land often leads to death matches. So the next time you hear the gray wolf's solitary howl, tread carefully. You're in wolf country.